HIV symptoms can vary from person to person, and not everyone will experience the same set of symptoms. Some individuals may not show any signs of HIV for a long time. While the majority of HIV symptoms are similar for both men and women, there are a few symptoms that are specific to men. It's important to remember that these symptoms specific to men could also be signs of other health conditions, so it's crucial to consult with your doctor if you experience any of them. Low sex drive can be a sign of hypogonadism, meaning the testicles don't produce enough testosterone. This condition is associated with HIV and can also cause erectile dysfunction, depression, fatigue, infertility, less body and facial hair growth, and breast tissue growth. Sores on the penis may indicate HIV, as painful open sores or ulcers can also appear on the mouth, esophagus, anus, and often recur. Pain or burning while urinating is typically a symptom of a sexually transmitted infection like gonorrhea or chlamydia, or it could signal swelling of the prostate, known as prostatitis. Other symptoms of prostatitis include pain during ejaculation, increased urination, cloudy or bloody urine, and pain in the bladder, testicles, penis, or the area between the scrotum and rectum, as well as lower back, abdomen, or groin pain. It's also important to keep an eye on other symptoms that aren't exclusive to men. During the first four weeks of being infected with HIV, you may experience flu-like symptoms. This is your body's natural response to the HIV infection. These symptoms can last from a few days to several months and may include fever, headache, fatigue, sore throat, skin rash, swollen lymph glands, diarrhea, night sweats, aching muscles or joints, ulcers in the mouth. It's important to note that not everyone with HIV will experience these early flu-like symptoms. Only about one in three people will have them. Others may not feel any different during this period. This stage is referred to as acute or primary HIV infection. During this time, the HIV virus enters certain types of white blood cells and makes billions of copies of itself, spreading throughout the body. It's also when there is a higher chance of transmitting the virus to other people because there are large amounts of the virus in your bodily fluids. Once HIV overpowers your immune system, it begins to spread at a slower rate, entering a stage known as chronic or clinical latency. During this period, many individuals may not experience any further symptoms. Without proper treatment, this stage can endure for 10 to 15 years, but consistent art medication can potentially prolong this stage for decades. AIDS is the final stage of HIV, where the virus has severely damaged your immune system, making it difficult for your body to fight off infections. Some symptoms of AIDS to look out for include extreme fatigue, rapid weight loss, persistent diarrhea, pneumonia, sores in the mouth, anus, or genitals, recurring fever or severe night sweats, memory loss, and unusual skin blotches. If you have AIDS, your doctor will prescribe art to maintain the health of your immune system, and you may also need medication to treat any infections or other problems caused by your weakened immune system.